my god, it's a package. Come <laughs> guys, so beautiful. Guys, it's even got my name on it. Oh, oh heavy. Go with my package. Let's go with my package. <laughs> <laughs> Opening this box is such a workout. I'm literally sweating. That probably says more about my level of fitness, but. <laughs> I think it's upside down. <laughs> well, I will say that this box is much less damaged than the last one. Thank you, Curious. You did a much better job. Alrighty, team. It's time to open it up. Let's see. And... Ah! <laughs> Ooh, beautiful things. So just like last time, I'm going to take everything out of the box and then we'll go through item by item and see what it's got. So I've gotten everything out of the box in pretty much the same order it was packed and we're just going to work through from essentially top to bottom. So let's start with this little cylinder here, which is a weekly calendar sticker roll. That is so cool. I love this box. I think it's really cute. I think I'm probably going to use it for storage after I use up all of the stickers in here, but let's have a look at what they look like. Excellent. All right, so it's all in the same color theme as our box has. And you can see we have a combination of note stickers and little kind of monthly calendar ones with a Sunday start. I think those are going to be really helpful for things like habit trackers and stuff. So you can see we have some which are the kind of geometric pattern at the back and then some which are just lines. Pretty freaking cute. And then our colors just kind of repeat. So we've got the dark blue background, kind of peachy background, and then the pale blue, and then the dark blue again. You can see from the side here, there are a decent number of stickers on this sticker roll. So the first item, the weekly calendar sticker roll. Continuing on, you can see our next item at the top here, and this is a pencil pouch. You can see it has two sides with little zippers with the Archer and Olive logos. We open that up. So inside here it's gray and we have space for seven pens per side. So seven here, seven here, and then I assume it's the same on the back. Yep, another seven and another seven. So enough space to hold 28 different pens. Let's have a look and see what fits into these. So our Inkjoy pen. There we go, that one certainly fits. We can use a Stettler Tri Plus fine liner. Yep, that one certainly fits. Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. Yep, that one fits as well. Tombow Dual Brush Marker, that one's quite a bit longer, so we'll see, we'll see if it fits on the end here. Yep, that one will just fit onto those end ones, because you can see this is kind of where the pencil case curves around, so if it fits there, it'll fit anywhere. Check to make sure it zips up. Yep, fabulous. Fits perfectly. So that is our second item for this box, the little pencil pouch with a little handle, two sides, 14 pens per side for a total of 28 pens. Up next we have this pretty little vellum envelope, and I think I've got it upside down, because I guess the top of the envelope would be here, and it's got this little kind of faux wax seal with the Archer and Olive logo in it. So let's open that one up. Oh, what a pretty postcard. I have the power to create change. And again, this is in the same color palette as the box and it has those kind of geometric elements on it. I think I might put this one on my wall. And of course this envelope I can use again for something else. So that's our third item, vellum envelope with little kind of decorative postcard inside. Now the next three items we're gonna do all together and that are these little notebooks. I think they're technically supposed to be an A6 size, maybe just a little bit narrower. But let's jump into these, see what we've got in terms of covers, paper type, and paper colors. So our first one here is in this kind of charcoal box. 
And this one is a 112 page dot grid notebook in this kind of navy color. You can see that the charm we've got on this one is actually more of a rose gold than it is a regular gold, which is really pretty. So you can see in terms of sizing, we have 16 squares across and 26 squares vertically. I think it's kind of like a pocket sized notebook, which is really cute. So that's the first one. Let's have a look at the next one. So this is the one in the light blue box. Opening that up. This one has a light blue cover. It kind of reminds me of denim. It's just a regular linen cover, but it's kind of got that textured look. Again, 112 pages, dot grid, but this one is craft paper. So same size again, and we've got that same rose gold little charm on the end. So one white dot grid, one craft dot grid. I think we can probably guess what might be coming next. So for the third one we've got here, this is in the warm gray box. So opening that up. Yep, you probably guessed it. This one is a blackout book. So we'll have black paper. Again, it's dot grid, it has 112 pages. We'll slip this off and have a look. So you can see same size again, nice little rose gold charm. If you've been here for more than one video, you probably know how I feel about blackout pages in terms of the way I like to journal, but this is another really cute notebook. I think it'd be actually really cool to use the three of them together as kind of like a swatch book system. So you can kind of swatch all of your pens onto them. That'd be a cool idea for these ones. You could possibly use them as little address books or maybe even like mini journals for like a page a day kind of thing. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna use mine for yet, but those are a couple of ideas that I'm toying with. Just so that we can compare them in terms of size with an A5 journal. So this is my current A5 journal that I'm using, also from Archer and Olive. We'll get this one out and I'll show you what it looks like lined up against it. So you can see this one's an A5, which means in theory, half of the size of this would be A6. So if we fit that there, you can see it's a little bit thinner than half the size, but in terms of this way, it is the same size. So if we put it here, you can see kind of difference in size between A5 down to this mini size. We'll have a look at it against a B6 as well. So this here in the green is the B6 size, and here's the one that came in the sub box. So with that, we have items four, five, and six. Our next item is probably one of the most exciting items in the box. It is a brand new thing for Archer and Olive, and that is these Calligraph brush pens. So they have a brush and a fine tip in one pen. So double-ended brush pens. You can see here it tells us we've got a set of five with three practice cards, and they come in this kind of magnetic box. Guys, even the box is pretty, come on. <laughs> Let's open it up though and have a look at the colors. So you can see we have our brush lettering guide for letters, our brush lettering guide for numbers, and a brush lettering guide with a quote. I am creating the life of my dreams. And here are the pins. Ooh, they are cute. I like the see-through tips. I think that's a cute touch. And we've got the color at the end of the pen as well obviously on the side, just like the acrylic graph pens have. Now I know in the blog it said they had a mix between some of the pens having kind of twin tones, so like one color at one end and one color at the other, and then some pens were supposed to have the same color both. So I'm gonna get out some paper and we're gonna swatch these. So using my Archer and Olive sketch pad that I got from, I think it was the March subscription box. Alrighty, so starting with this one, like we said, we have two different tips. So you can see we've got the brush tip that's a bit thicker here, and at the other end we have that thin brush tip. That's cool, because it's not like a bullet tip like a Tombow is, it's like another brush pen. Alrighty, so thick one, thin. Alrighty, so this is very much twin tone, so we've got kind of more of a golden color and then more of a peachy color. Moving on to our dark blue one. So these two colors do look a lot more similar to each other. our mid blue. Those ones are similar, but you can see that the finer nib is darker. And then to our lighter blue. For this one, you can see the distinct difference. So we've got that kind of really pale blue here and then kind of more of like a light dusty blue. And then for the gray, And for this one, we've got kind of a warm gray and then a cool gray. Having a look at those colors a little bit closer up so you guys can see the twin tone nature of some of them. 
in particular the differences in the peachy coloured pen, the pale blue pen, and the grey. These ones are a very exciting new addition to Archer and Olive, so I'm excited to see what other colours they bring out in this range. Putting those ones back though. So that is our seventh item, the Calligraph Brush Pen Set. On to our next item, the label on the front probably gives it away, but this is a sticker book. It says it has three sheets with a smooth matte finish. So in terms of these ones, these would be really good for a monthly setup. So we've got what all of the numbers for the days of the month with a couple of icons, some little washi strips and some decorative ones, and then little labels as well. So we've got habits, to-dos, important, notes, reminder, and to-do again. And we've got two of that one by the looks of things. So one and two. And then we've got this one here, which we again have two of. This has labels for each day of the week. We've got some little hexagons for decoration, some other little decorative hexagon corners, some little boxes which are cute. I will just say I love the color palette of this box, like it is right up my alley. <laughs> so two of those ones, and then another two of this one as well. So some more labels for the days of the week, some additional little decorative pieces, and then like a little note section as well. And these ones are all that really nice matte finish really pretty. These would be really good for a monthly setup. I'd actually be really tempted to do a monthly theme that had these colors just so I could use them. So that's the eighth item, the smooth matte finish sticker book. On to the next one, you can see we're getting into the peachy colored things here. This one we have a set of three little stick-in envelopes, again with those geometric patterns, which oh, they're so pretty. Each of these has tape on the back so that you can stick them wherever you want. I think these would be cool to add more storage into your journal, so at the front of your journal possibly, because obviously the back of the Archer and Olive journals you've got the gusseted pocket. Or you could use them for something like card making, or even just as like a decorative element in your monthly setup. I'm not too sure at this stage what I'm going to use them for, but uh, this one in particular, I really like that pattern, and I think the combination with the kind of bronzy rose gold and the blue is just really pretty. So that's item number nine, or I guess you could say number nine, 10, and 11, but we'll just say it's number nine. We have three little stick-in envelopes. Up next, and again, the title probably gives it away, but here we have a set of five coloring sheets. Of course, these could be colored using those calligraph pens. Let's pull them out and see what designs we've got though. So on this first one, we've got these geometric designs with these little leaf doodles as well. On the second one we've got a kitty, again with some little leaves and a little butterfly. On this one we have another geometric pattern which is a lot more intricate. We have some gemstones, and then another quite detailed geometric pattern. I also just love that the little paper cover that these slip into also has these little cutouts. I think that's just a really cute detail. So our tenth item is colouring sheets. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that this box is my favorite one yet. I love the color palette of everything in this one, and geometric patterns really speak to me. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with some of the items just yet, or how I'm going to use them. In particular, those mini journals. If you guys have any suggestions, please do leave them in the comment section. And also, just if you have any questions about the box in general, I'd be curious to hear those as well. At the time of posting this, the subscription box is still open for new purchases. And although you can't use my discount code on this one, JashiKarin10, if you wanted to support me and my channel, you can use my affiliate link, which is in the description box. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a really awesome way to support me. So a lot of goodies here to get excited about. Going through an order, we had the weekly calendar sticker roll, we have the pencil pouch, the vellum envelope with decorative postcard, the three mini journals in white, craft, and blackout pages, the calligraph brush pen set, our sticker book, our stick in mini envelopes, and our coloring pages. Question of the day for you guys though, of the items in the sub box, which one do you think you'd be the most excited about or the most likely to use? If I had to pick just one, it would probably be the mini calendar stickers. I just think that's a genius idea and I really love that they're all in that pretty color palette. But also the mini journals are really super cute too. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. If you hadn't already and felt so inclined, do feel free to subscribe to my channel for more on planning, productivity, and personal development. And until next time, bye. Now the next items we're gonna do as a threesome. No, I can't say it like that. <laughs>